Fristo, I think, needs to take a shorter approach. Don't worry so much about how long you go. Just be good while you're in there. And the first pitch of the game to Cam Touchette is down and in, ball one. And right. Swing and a miss and a fastball at 95. Well, that one had some life to it as well. 3-2 pitch. And strike three caught at the knees. And lifted into left field and sprayed the other way down into the corner. That's trouble. And right at the base of the wall is McGowan as the ballpark barely holds it. Not, not going. And there's a soft line drive into center field for a base hit. And the Bulldogs take a 1-0 lead on the RBI single from Cameron James. Well, there James gets his first at bat in a big spot. And he just takes it right back up the middle for the base hit. Bulldogs get the early lead. Didn't try to do too much. Got the pitch that was down and away. Takes it right back into center field. And still two base runners, a run home. And Fristo's had a three ball count. Popped him up. Shallow right field. The Brule ranging back. Got to shade his eyes. That's a tough sun right now for an infielder, especially the shortstop. Auburn on Friday. Auburn won big yesterday. Swing and a miss. That's the third strikeout for Jackson Fristo. Field. Swing and a miss. The bat goes flying, and that'll end the inning. Fristro strikes out a pair in the second. Into center field. It'll hang up for Matthews. Run should score from third. Runner going to try to take third, and sliding safely is the backside runner, Hatcher. Tanner scores easily from third. That was a good throw by Matthews, the center fielder. Boy, just see. Swing and a miss. Matthews didn't see that one. Yes. Here's a 2-2. Fly ball lifted into the outfield. Easy play for Rowdy. Waving off T.A. with that one glove and says, hey, I'll take it. Here's a 2-2. Fastball strike three called at the knees and that'll end the end. Oh, great job by the catcher, Logan Tanner. First time up. Here's a 2-2. Bounced up there and skips away from the catcher, Mickness. He had no chance at that one. A wild pitch, and Rowdy Jordan comes in to score, and it's 3-0 stayed here in the bottom of the third. Into the air, into center field. Rowdy Jordan ranging back. Should have room. A step on the track. That ball hit well off the bat of two shed to straightaway center field. Lead off. Popped him up. Left side of the infield, Cameron James calling for it. Bulldog third baseman makes the play a step in foul territory for out number two. Here's a 2-1. Lined in the left center field, ranging over in a diving catch by McGowan to end the inning. Oh, my goodness, fully outstretched, and that'll do it. State still leading 3-0. Out in the inning. Breaking ball, chop right side. First baseman backs up on it, underhand toss. Fristo covers the bag, and there's your first ground ball of the day. Well, it took a while, didn't it? I'll get all the way. One, two, strike three caught outside corner. Kirby didn't think so. He thought it was outside. Home plate on. Hot shot, one hyper. Nice play by Scotty DeBrule. Got the good hop on that smash. Stayed in front of it. Friday. Driven down the left field corner. Stay fair, stay fair. She stayed fair. Home run, Cameron James. Bulldogs shake up the lineup today. Cameron James, the new cleanup guy, and he's made the most of it. He's driven in a run with a hit. Now he just powers one out of the yard. Two-run shot to left, his fourth of the season, and the Bulldogs have a 5-0 lead. That happened quick. Got a pitch on the inner half. Has a line drive. Hey, he, he thought so. Admired it a little bit. Had a lot of draw situation where you got to press because you're playing from behind.
Ground ball the right side. DeBrule comes up with it. Writes himself, makes the play. And a ground out to the second baseman to start the sixth inning. Into center field, Rowdy Jordan ranging back. Should have room, reaches up, makes the catch. A couple of steps away from the track. And a good job. Here's a one-two. Swing, and that will end the inning. Jackson Fristo pulled into right field. That'll drive home a run. Forsyth will put on the brakes in second, trying to get back to the bag. The throw came in and it hit him. And Bart, you go back and look at the game within the game right there. You've got a runner on first base. Second baseman was shaded up the middle a little bit, trying to be in double play depth. And that helps open up that right side. Touchet came in, trying to throw it in behind. It's Forsyth. Into left field. They'll wave the runner around third. Here comes the throw. Not in time. Forsyth scores an RBI single by Tanner Allen. And the Bulldogs lead 7-0. That is a professional at bat by Tanner Allen. He comes up there. He doesn't get anything to hit, but he keeps fouling them off, fouling them off, battling at the plate and then gets one that he can just take the other way, puts it into left field. The Bulldogs add another run. And 7-0 lead, and here's Cameron James, who homered his last time up. Today had an RBI single his first time up. There's a shot in the left center field. Hit well off the wall. They'll wave the runner around third. He will score. It'll be a two-run double for Cameron James. His fourth and fifth RBIs of the day. And the Bulldogs continue to expand the lead. Now, something about that cleanup spot that suits the eye of Cameron James today. He has made great contact. That might have been the best ball he's hit all day. Two-run double, and it's 9-0. Allen's 2-2, two -two, swing and a miss. Lined in the right field and right at Tanner Allen. And chop left side, shortstop coming in, and it goes off of four sides. We'll see how they charge that one. I got a dollar that says that one's going to be an error. Here's a 3-2. Breaking ball down, that's ball four. So after the error, now walk to Mickness, and now runners at first and second with two outs. Strike three caught on the outside corner, and that will end the inning. Lead off double by McDonald. And that one's pulled into right field. McDonald will round third. He'll come in to score. It's a 10 to nothing game on the RBI single by Brandon Pimentel. Yeah, that was a nice swing that time by Pimentel. Just laced it. Ground ball. Past the first baseman, Turner, into right field. Forsyth will score. Rowdy will come around to score. And it's 12 0. They're going to score to base hit. Landon Jordan with the single. That just overran it. Took one too many steps to his left. He was trying to fight with a runner over there. Lines that ball in the left field. Well, hitting is contagious. Yeah, we talked about that with Ron Polk the other day. The idea that once guys start getting hits, it just trickles down through your lineup, and we've seen. Place of Timbrook. Rolls the ball to first. First baseman over. Pimentel, underhand toss. Tepper had his foot on the bag. One pitch, one out here in the eighth inning. Grounds that one off the bag. What a stab by Pimentel, and he beats him to the bag. You talk about a change of direction. It hit off the bag, and Pimentel stabbed it. Oh, my goodness. That is a defensive gem by a guy who hadn't played much over there. 
Take a look right off the bag. And then just takes it himself. And breaking ball, strike three called, and that'll end the inning. What a beauty. Strike three called. And one out. Takes strike three on the inside corner for out number two. The 3-1. Missed inside, ball four. Popped him up into center field. Could it drop? It's going to be caught. Forsyth. play. Forsyth catches it. And for the first time since 1985, and Gene Morgan, Mississippi State has a no-hitter. What a play by Forsyth to go get that baseball. Four pitchers combined for a no-hitter. Jackson Fristo, Landon Sims, Mikey Tepper, and Cam Tolar gets the final out, and it took some big-time defensive plays. McGowan in left, Pimentel at first made an unbelievable stab, but that last one, Lane Forsyth, the play of the game.